So Wyatt and I have made it to the Royal Gorge. Bree, what do you think about eight miles of hikes? Just sleepy time. And you can also look in between the cracks. No fear of heights here. This is probably the fastest I've ever hiked in my life. Why? I have to poop so bad. Wyatt and I have made it to the Royal Gorge Bridge. I don't know. I literally know nothing about this place. I saw a cool picture. It looked awesome. So, step one, visitor center. I need to poop and uh, find out some more stuff about this place. Stay tuned. God, I love visitor centers. All right, so here's what I've learned. Dogs are allowed everywhere, including the visitor center. There's a gondola that takes you up to I don't know, it's supposed to be, I think, the tallest suspension bridge in North America. I'll fact check that in a second. But I'm gonna go grab Wyatt, and uh, we're gonna go exploring. 35 bucks though, a little seat. Hey, little dude. Are you ready to go explore the gorge? Do you wanna go explore the gorge? Come on, come on. Okay, so there it is behind me. That is the Royal Gorge. It's like 1,200 feet down to the Arkansas River. And the gondolas are closed today for maintenance. So that's neat. So we are gonna walk over this thing. Forget fear heights, let's do this. Hello, my old friend Vertigo. You see, the thing about suspension bridges is they move and shake and rattle and roll. And me, fear heights, no big deal. But here we are in the middle of it. You can see the Arkansas River down there. And you can also look in between the cracks. No fear of heights here. <laughs> Not happening. I swear I'm gonna rename this channel the Conquering My Fear of Heights channel. Maybe not. Uh, that was pretty cool. Uh, suspension bridge is shaky, as all suspension bridges are, but it was absolutely beautiful views. Got some really cool pictures. Um, and the only bad thing about it is I have to walk back over it to get back to the van. He had zero problems. He kept looking down the cracks uh, he also pooped right on the bridge, so I guess I gotta get used to that in the spirit of Onyx. <laughs> uh, I don't know if it's worth 35 bucks, to be honest, uh, just to walk over it. There is a trailhead that is supposed to go all along this ridge that we're gonna go check out next and uh, see if it's worth it to do the $35 just to walk across the bridge. Or if you should just go on the hike. I'll let you know. Yeah, sunny day, sunny day, sunny days. No clouds in the sky, but again, away feels like it's been a freaking decade. Sorry, don't call me because I'm gonna be on gray. Sunny day, sunny day, make gray. All the stress and doubt, yeah, not today. Feels like it's been a freaking decade. Sorry, don't call me because I'm gonna be on gray. Got the trap on a fresh car, sushi on a platter, pretty honey, it don't matter, shots. Till I trap, trap. I am so giddy about this hike. This is the Tunnel Drive hike in Canyon City. Um, this is along the Arkansas River. This is basically what formed the Royal Gorge. So we're gonna see it from the bottom. And then tomorrow we're gonna see it from the top. From the top to the bottom, bottom to the top. I don't know. Whatever, you get what I mean. I'm giddy, this is giddy. Um, it's supposed to be bighorn sheep, deer, and stuff like that on this road, or on this hike. Uh, also the the famous train that drives through the gorge goes through here. And I'm assuming those are the tracks. I hear it. 
or just a random train, I don't know. I'm excited, so it's only, I think it's like four miles. A lot of uphill so far. But, it's had a beautiful morning. 30% chance of thunderstorms. That can't be good. Whatever, we'll fight through it. So if you see behind me, you can kind of see why they call it Tunnel Drive. I see two of them so far. That'd be cool. Buddy, you ready? Come on, let's go out through some tunnels. Come on. He's loving this so far. Look at him go. So this is the third tunnel, and I do believe it's supposed to be the longest. And as you can see, there is light at the end of the tunnel. Hmm. Well, it looks like we're gonna get lucky. There it is. The Royal Gorge train. It is just hard to believe when you see how high these bluffs are, these peaks. It's all carved from mat over, you know, maybe just a couple of years. Not many. <laughs> it's astounding. What a beautiful, beautiful hike. So far, about a mile in, definitely has lived up to the hype. I just love being able to see all the layers of rock as you go up through the millennia. It's so cool. So we have made it to the very end of the line, which I gotta say I'm a little disappointed. I thought this went to the Royal Gorge Bridge, which it does not. But I guess that's a hike for another day, which is tomorrow. Tomorrow we're doing that one. He's excited. Yeah, tomorrow we're doing the rim trail, which it better go to the bridge. I don't know, I'm supposed to have a better opinion after going to the bridge. I guess we'll see. Oh, this is trouble. Did you find a bone? Huh? <laughs> of course. Buddy, what do you have? What do you have? Is that yours now? Is that yours? What do you have? I guess it's cheaper than the store. Morning from East Ridge Campground at the Royal Gorge. Pretty excited. Um, today we're gonna do the rim trail. We did the tunnel drive trail yesterday, which is the lower part along the Arkansas River and the railroad. So today is 16 to 1800 feet above that. We drove all the way up here to the Royal Gorge. I'm just curious to see if it's worth paying to go to the Royal Gorge, you know, to walk across the bridge and all that kind of stuff to see it or if this hike will take us there. The cool thing is, as you can see, we can get there directly from our campground, which is only 20 bucks a night. So, and very clean facilities. By far the cleanest pit toilet I've ever seen. And everything is marked and labeled. It's a campground, Canyon Rim Trail. That's neat, I like that. So, got a little bit of pop of sunshine. It's supposed to rain the rest of the afternoon, so. Let's go see. I do believe that's the first pop of the gorge. You can see, zoom in here. That is a steep drop and it's just gorgeous. Okay, I'm a little more than a mile in and things are really starting to open up now. Look at that.
this this is the look of awestruck i don't i don't even know where to begin it's so far down um i think it's like 1800 feet down and i think this trail might now it can't go over there because the river has to be there i don't know we're just gonna keep going All right buddy are you excited are you excited Okay, so there it is. Our first pops of the Arkansas River, which is where I was yesterday on the Tunnel Drive Trail. And here we are way up top. It is. This is just staggering. This is, this is definitely the way to see this place, is the rim trail, for sure. Muddy. Rocky, but this is insane. Look at this. Look at these views as they pop out. <sighs> My fear of heights is so engaged right now. I had to stop though. I had to stop and take some drone shots because this is like one of the big spots. This is like 1600, 16 to 1800 foot drop. definitely see where I was hiking yesterday. You can see the river. You can see a Wyatt waiting patiently. Not so patiently. I'm shaking. There's the edge right there. All right, we're gonna keep hiking. So question, on a loop hike, are you a clockwise or counterclockwise hiker? I think that most people go clockwise which is why I go counterclockwise, because I would much rather just say hi to them as I pass than be stuck with eight kids whining, four dogs off leash, hiking the same trail at a similar pace. I don't know, let me know what you think. So this is the lookout trail. We've hiked down to the lookout trail. Uh, definitely gone down in elevation a little bit, um, but great views. So I think this is it. I think this is my favorite view so far of the Royal Gorge. You can see the ridge that we climbed along there, there, and up and around. Come down a little bit in elevation. Look down, you can see the Arkansas River. If you look real closely, if you look real closely, you can see the trail that we were on yesterday, the Tunnel Drive Trail. It's just a really special place, man. I know I say that about a lot of places, but this place is special. I'm so glad I've got to see it in three different kind of perspectives from the lower tunnel drive, uh, crossing over the bridge, and now from the top of it, from the rim trail. The only perspective we don't have is the train, but no why it's allowed. Look what I found. It's the bridge we were on last week. And it looks like the gondolas are working now. see you buddies why are you so close to the edge why are you so close to the edge it doesn't make sense little fellas this is probably the fastest i've ever hiked in my life why i have to poop so bad Whew. oh please 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 I am so glad I decided to stay in one place for a while. Canyon City, Colorado was just absolutely outstanding. Hikes, the landscapes, the people. It's just an amazing part of Colorado that I've never explored before. And being able to stay in the area for two weeks allowed me to get these three completely unique perspectives on this incredibly beautiful gorge. Honestly, I don't know which one I like the best. Being at ground level on the Tunnel Drive Trail was incredible to walk beside the Arkansas River and look up at the cliffs it created over the millennia. Hiking the entire rim trail gave me so many more views of the gorge and was probably my favorite way to see it. And Royal Gorge Park 
Although pricey, it was awesome to stay on the bridge and look directly over the gorge and look down at the river below. So I guess to sum it up, I don't know which is best. I'm just so incredibly grateful to be able to see each option. And I'm grateful to be able to share these perspectives with you. So thank you for watching and exploring along with Wyatt and me. And keep exploring life with an open mind.